Good morning Celtic fans. So, Alastair Johnston, will cost Celtic £3 million, with a deal with Montreal FC, expected to be completed in the next few days. And what about that big sexy keeper we have? Josip Juranovic wins World Cup battle with Alastair Johnston as future Celtic teammates clash. Or will they be, that is the question. That figure seems fair value for a fullback that is playing at the World Cup finals, last summer Josip Juranovic was signed for a similar fee following the European Championships. Yesterday the two defenders were in opposition with Juranovic coming out on top with Croatia on course for the knockout phase and Canada out of the competition following a 4-1 defeat. Alastair Johnston may be heading to Celtic in January to rival Josip Juranovic for the right-back slot, but the Croatian has sent the Canadian packing from the World Cup. The Celtic FC transfer DEA L has been struck between Celtic and Montreal for 24-year-old Johnston, who also holds a UK passport through his Northern Irish mum meaning no work permit issues, and he will become Angie Postecoglou's second signing of the January window after the capture of Yuki Kobayashi from Kobe. It's thought that Johnston is seen as the successor to Juranovic, who has been linked with a move in January, or the summer, with a number of English Premier League clubs credited with an interest including Manchester United while La Liga side Atletico Madrid long-term admirers. Celts boss Angie Postacoglu has already lined up centre-back Yuki Kobayashi from Vissel Kobe to check in on January 1st, and Johnston is now set to join the Japanese star once formalities are completed in Scotland. The former Nashville SC product, who will pocket 10% of the transfer fee. Now, what about Big Love Chops? The Celtic goalkeeper has been a leader on and off the pitch for the boys since coming into the club in the summer of 2021. When we needed that solid goalkeeper at the back, the Englishman didn't hesitate to come in and show what he could do. Joe Hart didn't hide the fact that he'd love to have had one more outing with England at the World Cup, but his took to social media to say his holiday plans were a good consolation. While showing off how great a shape he's in. Hope you don't mind if I just stare. Ops, okay. In other Celtic FC news, Anthony Rolston has given the Celtic blueprint as Celtic star, urged to follow Greg Taylor example. Mark Wilson has urged Anthony Rolston to use the expected signing of Alastair Johnston as motivation to kick on at Celtic and not see it as a problem. Greg Taylor has been arguably Celtic's best player this season, but many expected him to be out of the side when Angie Postacoglu brought Alexandro Bernabé in during the summer window. Since then, He's gone from strength to strength and the Argentine youngster has rarely been seen. And Wilson has urged Rolston to knuckle down and show his worth on the training pitch, and in any games he gets the chance to play in because he's good enough to do the same at right back. Wilson told the Sunday Mail, It's very rare that you'll see two Scottish fullbacks playing together or vying for one spot. There always seems to be others who come in. Everyone thought Taylor would be out of the team when Bernabé came in. But he's taken his game up a level this season. Guys like Diego Laxalt came in at left-back to challenge him. He had a fancy name and a big reputation because he played at AC Milan. But Taylor was knocking his pan in behind the scenes and has eventually come to the fore. Rolston has done the same. Both Scottish fullbacks have done remarkably well to play in this team, in a style under Angie that no young Scottish fullbacks have played before. Juranovic has been first choice, but he's expected to leave soon and Wilson insists it makes perfect sense to bring in another right back so they aren't left scrambling at the end of the window if Juranovic leaves. He added, Rolston is a fit lad, he's very rarely injured and when he plays he's got as many goals and assists as Juranovic. If you look at Johnston as well over the last couple of years, Rolston surpasses him in that regard as well. He's mentally strong anyway, he's proved that to still be at Celtic. When you see where he's come from a few years ago, he was out the door and written off by everyone, he was at the lowest point of his career. He won't hit lower than that. He's proved he can compete for a place at Celtic with guys like Juranovic 
who is playing on the biggest stage at the World Cup. Celtic play so many games that Rolston will still get a decent return in terms of his appearances come the end of the season. And on that note, have a great day Celtic fans all around the world. Lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the